Hey guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerushka to a TV. Contrary to some opinions, I have decided to come back this week with a what's in my bag on Wednesday. I put out a post on Instagram just asking you guys like, what do you think? I know there's some subbies out there or viewers out there who left me comments just saying it's too repetitive, it's super boring and I'm sorry for that. Um, I can understand when content is repetitive, but again, kind of like my favorites, I'm true to what's in my bag. Like I don't stuff anything else in there to be interesting. So those last bigger bags, like my Birkin and, and the Neverfull, that stuff had just been on repeat and it was all the same stuff. So then I was just kind of on the back foot, like, should I do another what's in my bag Wednesday? But you guys were like, yes, I really like them. So... I want to give you guys what you like and plus a lot of people on insta hi guys said it's a different size bag which it is so i'm gonna do it if you guys are gonna ask i was a bit excited with my highlight today and it is oh just like shining bright like a diamond if you're gonna ask it's from the anastasia beverly hills glow kit by nicole guerrero youtuber guru and the color that is just all over like I don't even want to say this is what I meant in that get ready by me get ready by me get ready with me that I don't go too low is because of this like my cheeks just look like little bubbles that you could poke and they would just pop so I usually keep it really high but today I've gone so low I mean it's just crazy so it's forever lit it's the white one that I scored with my nails when I had my gels on and that is what I have on for my highlight and then I just was really creative not really creative but I was just going all in with my and again Anastasia modern renaissance palette uh, for the eyes and I have a mixture of all of these earthy tones which is so my juge that's what I have on my eyes and then on my lips I will show you because it's inside my bag so this is my what's in my bag Wednesday which has been a week from my Birkin when I was be a little bit in a funk I was thinking what should I do and yeah I did choose to downsize but what is going on here oh it's wrapped underneath Technical difficulties. Chain. Chain is twisted. Technical difficulties. One minute. Oh my god, no joke. That just literally took like two whole minutes to work out what had happened. The leather had threaded through, wrapped around, and then it was completely caught. But since I changed out of my Birkin, I did choose to do a Chanel, which I had said in that video, and I did choose to outsize. Committing to downsize. I get asked that a lot. Like, do they become like, you know, going out bags or whatnot? No. Hell no, girl. I will use my bags no matter what the juge. Like, if I, if this is an everyday bag, everyday bag to me, as well as like an event bag, if I'm going to an event or whatever, like, whatever. I use my bags whenever, wherever. It's not, they're not labeled for me. This, if you don't know and haven't seen my videos, is my Chanel Le Boy bag, which I acquired off the pre-owned market of fashionfile.com. It is the old medium size or the medium size. You're not allowed to call it these things anymore. I don't know. And it is in the large quilting. So it's not the smaller quilting. It is in calfskin leather, in beautiful black calfskin leather with ruthenium hardware the chain and in the CC closure it is just gorgeous you've heard this story a million times that this was the exact one I wanted and by exact I mean exactly this bag and when I found it I was just absolutely obsessed and had to work out how to get it and yeah the calf skin wears well you can see scratches on the inside does not bother me they're ve it's very plain so it's very easily marked i would not say now having um a lamp a new lambskin leather piece that this is um as sort of delicate i wouldn't sort of say that it's probably more well wearing if you see something in calf skin it's a little bit more durable even though this has got quite a few scratches uh but yeah there's one flap opening, which is nice. So 
that's not like the double flap so I have a double flap and I have the jumbo single and I have this boy single and singles are so much easier to deal with firstly they're not as heavy but they're just easier to deal with so there is the content as usual I'm going to tilt the camera down and show you what is in my bag Wednesday okay can we see it's getting harder and harder to tilt the camera down because I don't know something's wrong with my tripod I need a new one so anyway here is the bag this is the 10 inch so this would be equivalent to holding oh, I want to say maybe no it's not as much as a pochette Matisse Maybe like what a favorite can hold. It's pretty, pretty small. Don't be fooled. Uh, you definitely have to very much downsize. So here is the content. So starting off, in here is my lip combo at the moment, which is my Essence uh, Cosmetic Lip Pencil in the 06 Satin Mauve. And this is the one that stinks like wax. So I basically have to throw it out because it just really smells. And this is my newest... Chanel Rouge Coco lip gloss in 119, which is the mauve with a much more pinky undertone in it. It's really, really pretty, uh, but yeah, it's a lot. Can you see? It's coming out a lot pinkier, but it's a perfect match for my satin mauve. So I put my pencil on first and then I put that over the top. And I'm sure they have like close to matching pencil pencils in Chanel, but if you watch my get ready with me, I'm not like a fan I, I just want them to be more pigmented that's all okay so in the main body compartment oh the layout is which you would probably know main body compartment and then one slip compartment at the back of this old old medium boy bag I have my new O O case in the small size struggles okay so this is calf leather and lambskin up close to each other next to each other I should say and you can just sort of see there's a little bit more of a texture in this then versus just the suppleness of the lambskin there but nevertheless I feel like both both are well wearing I just think you have to be a little bit more conscious of like what this is around and I'll show you what it's sitting next to in a second so here it is I just love showing it off it's so beautiful the beautiful CC zipper stop at the end there and I love the burgundy I think it's so classic so in here I have my Apple earbuds this doesn't obviously fit as much as a Louis Vuitton toiletry case nor I think it fits a little less than um, a Louis Vuitton mini pochette. I have a couple of gift cards to Harvey Norman. I have one Band-Aid. I have my frequent flyer card from Qantas. I have my Adair's Linen Lovers card. I have my Priceline card, my Sephora Beauty Pass, and my Baby Bunting VIP card. And then what's left in here is one more band-aid and my Rouge Coco lip balm stick uh, in the lipstick form it's not the pot which I have shown you guys it is very very nourishing if you want to have a nice little fun splurge this is so great okay next up in the main body compartment is my car key with my Louis Vuitton dragon strap in the monogram attached to it of course I am using my clay I'm using this is my Verne clay from Louis Vuitton in the Amarant color I got this as a gift from Sarah and I'm just in love with it tuck the key hook to in this bag I tuck the key hook into the back pocket I don't use the back pocket just so it doesn't scratch anything in my boy um, but yeah this is just so gorgeous and it's really a spacious spacious clay so in here I have coins I have my trolley key to Woolworths and I am holding coins down inside here this guy this is my Chanel coin purse in the silver hardware caviar leather black 
I got this in Hong Kong. It was kind of like the original design with a pocket on the back before they made the card holder that looks like this. Uh, so the card holder now just has one. Yeah, it has one. It just has one compartment. So you open it like so and it's just one card compartment. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. So you just go boop and it's one card slot like that. Whereas mine is an actual like functional type wallet. You can use this definitely as a wallet. I wouldn't say you can pile tons of coins in here, but all my bank cards are in the front. All my points cards are in the back. My license and business cards are down the front here so I can access them quickly. And it just shuts like so. And on the back is that um, iconic pocket for Chanel. So you can put something in that as well. I really love this. And when you just, you know, haven't used items for a little while and then you just come back to them, it's nice, it's refreshing. So also in the main potty compartment is just still my multi-clay uh, in the four key ring because it's the monogram multicolor with the fuchsia, the Grenade fuchsia interior. Just still using that. And then what's left in the main body compartment is $4. So that's the main body compartment empty. It is a gray cotton drill. And then in the back slip pocket, I keep my phone. This is my iPhone 7 Plus. I have rise to wake, but one of my subbies told me to just turn the screen brightness down. Clever! Anyway, I'm thinking of getting a Lumi case. Has anyone got one of those? Or at least this is just sort of dying. Firstly, because mussy chews around on it and all the foiling is starting to chip, but all the back's just so dirty. Um, has anyone got a Lumi case? What do you think? They're really heavy and big, I've heard, but they're cool. They're like, you know, selfies. You look really pretty, right? Anyway, I do want to tell you something else, and I can't believe I'm actually saying this, and I can't believe I'm telling you this, but as a lot of people are, I am obsessed with Tammy Hembro. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. She's a mum of two, given she's like 22 years old or something, or 20 five she's like a spring chicken but she's just amazing right so she's a fitness model a fashion blogger blah 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 she's an australian she lives up in gold coast <sighs> i saw her with her louis vuitton horizon is that what it's called horizon trunk phone case on her seven plus and it just looked so cool and i was like oh my god i think i love it Okay, given I'm not going to drop $1,500 on a phone case for my iPhone 7 Plus, but oh, it just actually looked really cool on her. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I've was, I was just, I've been very tempted. That is my phone. And then the rest of the things in that back slip pocket, I don't tend to overstuff it. I really should just stop with my phone because yeah, as you can see there, it's just, it gapes a little bit. But this is a pre-loved bag and it wasn't too gapey. That's completely fine. This bag, if you're wondering, was made in Italy. There is, it's made in Chanel, made in Italy tab. So the rest of the things in the back pocket is uh, cash, 50, 10, 5, and a receipt to Starbucks Manly. Ding. So there you go guys, that is my Chanel Le Boy bag. Completely empty. Struggle, oh struggle, not again. Eh, eh. Totally flipped around on me again. This is my Chanel Le Boy bag, completely empty. I had mentioned it as the best kind of feeling as a purchase that I made and it's so true. This just is the smell of it. Even when I get this bag out, the smell it just makes me think of the time when I got it and it just makes me feel really, really happy. And I think that's a really big part of, I don't know, other people in the Lux community can agree, like the sentimental feeling or just the feeling when you acquire something and just the victory of it, you know, that feeling of accomplishment or whatnot. Shout out to June. She just got, last week I saw her, Chloe Faye, shout out to her. Hi babe, congratulations. It's that feeling, you know, it's that excitement. So anyway, that 
is my boy bag. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like these What's In My Bag Wednesdays, please give me a thumbs up so I can see. I know, you know, YouTube life, like the YouTube problems when we, all we can do is go off what we get back from you. So knowing what you guys like, what I put out and whatnot. So do let me know. It's always good feedback for me to know. Um, but yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, guys, that would be really great. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.